Hello, welcome to this video in which I will talk about the longest common subsequences. Okay, what are they? So let's say we have two strings. So what this is going to do is it's going to find the longest non-continuous similar subsequence in two strings. So the result for this should be a b because we have an a here, an a here, b here, b here. This c happens after the b. There's nothing after the b here. There's an e here. There's no e here. So that's what we get. So let's try and do a function that does this. We're going to do this recursively. Um, so if either of these empty, we're going to return an empty list. If not, we need to break these lists up into things. So we'll say x, xs, y, ys equals x list 0. So this is essentially the head of x list. This is the tail of x list. The tail means everything but the head. Um, y is going to equal y list head. Ooh, what am I doing? And this will equal the tail of y. So if x equals y, we're going to return x plus this of the remainder. So this is saying if they're the same, take the letter, move on. If not, we need to return the max list of the original x list and the remaining y's. And the remaining x's and the original y's, where the key is going to be equal to the length. So let's see what happens here. should be a b. And we get the list consisting of a and b. So let's try something a little longer. Let's implement a function called random chars, which will take a number of chars and uh, a list of available characters. So to do that, we need to import string, and we're going to need to import random. And what we're going to do here is say for i in range n, Yield random choice chars. So let's just overwrite S1 and S2. We'll say S1 equals random chars of 
length 10. Same thing for S1. And print a little what we're looking for. Hmm. Generator has no attributes. Okay. C for C in, since this is a generator function. Okay. So we have this random string of all uppercase letters. And then we have this random string of all uppercase letters and it's saying this is the longest common subsequence so we have w v x so here we have w v x and here we have w v x so it's in both strings let's just try that again actually let's print this out a little bit better. So just to make this interesting, let's pretend this is DNA. Instead of having all uppercase letters, let's pass this in just four characters. So the less number of characters you have, the more likely you will get <clears throat> a longer common substring. Let's see. If we just do two letters, it should be pretty long. Yeah. So that is longest common subsequence using recursion. Um, I don't recommend using this for any long string. It could take forever. So let's just try length 15. Length 20. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Still waiting. Hmm. So hopefully this is proving my point. Um, usually when you're trying to find the longest common subsequence, you're trying to do it on strings longer than 20. So watch the next video on how to do longest common subsequences with dynamic programming, and it will be much more fast and robust. So thank you for watching.